Welcome to Alan Berry Reports TV. I'm your host, Alan Berry Labucan from AlanBerryReports.com. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, we have a new installment of our In the News uh, show. Uh, this is the show where we talk about resource companies with uh, recent developments. Um, on today's show, we have three companies to talk about. Uh, one of them is involved with copper. One is one is involved with both uh, silver and gold, and then one is a uh, gold-focused company. Um, also, have to uh, do a little bit of housekeeping. Um, we added a new section to our website. Uh, if you look above me, I think it's on this side. Uh, if you're watching the show on our website at alanberryreports.com, um, we have a new shows uh, section. In the shows section, we've uh, got all of the past shows. Uh, we include the dates, a little overview uh, of which companies were talked about, and then a uh, link to where you can go and watch the shows. And so um, anybody wanting to go and check out our past shows, uh, you no longer have to go to our YouTube or our Ustream channels. Uh, you can go to that shows section. We've got them all linked up there. We still have those uh, channels, uh, but uh, the shows section uh, will make it a lot easier for you to find uh, the past shows and then uh, go watch those shows if you're uh, so interested. Um, before we get started with today's show, we always like to start out with our thank yous. Um, we have to, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we use YouTube.com and Ustream.tv to uh, produce and broadcast our shows and so you can watch them at your convenience. And uh, those are really great websites for anybody that's interested in doing online shows and we highly recommend them. Uh, in addition, uh, if you're watching the show on our website at alanberryreports.com, you'll notice to the left and to the right of me that we have banners. Uh, those banner sponsors are really important in us being able to uh, bring these shows to you. And uh, if you'd like to do some homework on those companies, just click on their banners. That'll take you to their websites where you can find plenty of information on uh, the, the companies and their various projects and uh, all their past news and uh, plenty of information there for you to do your homework. And of course, to you, the viewers, uh, if you didn't show up, we wouldn't have a reason to do the shows and uh, you afford us an opportunity to have an audience to speak to. So we thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, we'll get right to it. Uh, today's first company we're going to talk about is uh, Capstone Mining Corp. On the disclosure, we're not shareholders of the company. Our past coverage includes, uh, they are a uh, featured, one of the featured companies in our Alan Berry Reports email newsletter. Uh, we started coverage of them on March the 31st, 2009. That was our 23rd edition. And if you're interested in finding that, just look above me on the website. You'll see a report section. In there we have all of our past reports and you can find that 23rd edition when we talked about uh, Capstone. And uh, then on our past shows, uh, we had them on our August the 25th, September 16th, September 30th, October 20th, and November 24th shows. And again, just look above me there. Look for that show section. You can find all of those dates and uh, we're, when we talked about Capstone with a link so you can go watch the shows. And also, by the way, you can uh, post comments there uh, if you have any comments or questions uh, regarding the uh, uh, Capstone or any of the companies we follow. Uh, their website is capstoneminning.com. That's C-A-P-S-T-O-N-E-M-I-N-I-N-G.com. I'm just going to pull that website up right now. The news release that we're looking for is the December 9th uh, press release. Uh, just uh, get it up here. Um, now, since we last talked about them on uh, November the 24th, um, they've had a few news releases out. Um, one of those is um, they talked about uh, uh, Capstone reports additional high-grade intercepts and cross-cut into their foot wall zone at Cozumel. That was their December 1st uh, press release. Then they uh, had some other news out uh, about uh, drilling at their Cucho project. Um, and uh, then they also recently had their uh, production out guidance for 2011. You can find all of those on their, uh, on their website. 
Um, the um, the one that we're looking for is the uh, December 9th uh, press release. The headline from that one is um, Capstone Reports 8th High Grade Copper Gold uh, Discovery at uh, and, ma uh, and Major Step Out at Minto. Um, the subheadline is Hole 10 SWC 750 intercepts 15.3% copper and 4.4 grams per ton gold over 2.6 meters at Inferno Discovery. Uh, they also have another one there, whole 10 SW750 C758 uh, intercepts 1.9% copper and 0.5 grams per ton gold over 19.1 meters. Uh, including 3.3% copper and 0.7 grams per ton gold over 7.1 meters in major step out to the northeast of Copper Keel. Uh, then they go on that uh, Capstone announced two separate exploration developments at its Minto mine in the Yukon, uh, including the discovery of a new high grade copper gold zone designated Inferno, uh, northeast of the Minto main deposit and a 250 meter extension to the northeast of the wildfire copper keel mineralization discovered and drilled to find in 2010. The mineralization in both areas was detected by a deep penetrating IP survey conducted earlier this year. That's a geophysical survey. Um, drilling highlights are summarized in the table below and then they have a table in the press release with the uh, various different drill holes. I'm not going to go over those again. They were in the headline, uh, subheadline of the uh, of the press release. Um, there's a quote in the uh, below the uh, drill um, table, drill result table uh, with the assay results. Uh, there's a quote from Stephen Quinn, who's the president of Capstone, and he stated and I said, and I quote. The continued exploration success at Minto validates the new approaches and techniques utilized in 2010 and bodes well for future exploration. Particularly encouraging is the identification of a potential uh, parallel trend of mineralization to the, zone, to the one we have been focused on for the past four years. He said, while less well explored, this second axis of mineralization already ho hosts four discoveries made in the past 12 months, end quote. So there's some really good information in there, and uh, th I wanted to highlight um, uh, something about his quote there that got is quite exciting. They've been working really hard at their, um, at their mental project, uh, oh, as he mentioned, for the past four years, and now they're finding a new, uh, new uh, parallel zone that uh, looks to be quite exciting and, and wide open for exploration. So we're, uh, they've been uh, finding new discoveries on that new area and it uh, looks like they'll continue to be working really hard on that, uh, that area of the project. Um, so that's the key information again you can find on their website. I'm just going to go back here just a second. So. Some of the reasons that we like uh, Capstone is they're a copper focused company. We're very bullish on copper, um, but what, may, what is challenging for us is we only follow companies with projects in mining friendly jurisdictions and finding high quality copper projects in uh, with company, uh, with, um, where the companies are in mining friendly jurisdictions is not easy and uh, Capstone definitely fits the bill. Um, we first started coverage of them a couple years ago but and the main reason was the drilling we were seeing from their Minto project. Um, this was uh, we actually um, started following the Minto project when it was uh, part of Sherwood Copper that uh, Capstone and Sherwood merged. And so uh, that one was, as it has been, and is our main focus of of uh, on Capstone. Uh, it, but they're now they've got the production at Cozumel. Now they've got results from their Cucho project. So they're getting, uh, you know, they've got a good pipeline there of um, of projects. And uh, another encouraging sign recently is that they've uh, wound, they're winding down their hedge position to bring that Minto project into production. They needed to hedge some of their their uh, their production, but uh, they're winding that down so they're becoming less hedged 
and in the not too distant future we'll have no hedges or a, a very minimal amount of hedges so uh, we're quite encouraged to that so they've got you know they got good projects they're a producer they're a copper company focused in mining friendly jurisdictions uh, these are all the key reasons we like the company and again if you want to do your homework on the company as we always mention uh, as we always recommend uh, just go to their website at capstonemining.com so the second company we're going to talk about today is uh, US Gold Corp uh, on the disclosure we're not, uh, I don't I'm pretty sure I did the disclosure on Capstone we're not shareholders of Capstone uh, sorry well so we'll start with the uh, second company today is US Gold Corp on the disclosure we're not shareholders uh, on the past coverage they are a featured company in our Allen Berry reports email newsletter uh, we started coverage of them on September the 28th 2008 which uh, was our 19th edition again if you want to find that just look above me on the website you'll see a report section in there is where you can find that 19th edition and um, uh, if you'd want to read up on that uh, the past shows we've had them on are June 23rd, August the 5th, September the 2nd, October the 13th, and November 16th. Look above me at the shows section and you can find all of those past, um, past shows for you and links to where you can watch them. Their website is usgold.com, nice and easy one, that's usgold.com. Um, now we're going to look for, uh, we've got two press releases that we're going to talk about. I'm just bringing up their website now. They have a news section. Uh, in the news section, we're looking for the uh, December 6th and the December um, uh, 8th press release. I'm just uh, now bringing up the 6th, uh, December 6th uh, press release. The headline is Nevada. Uh, U.S. Gold Corporation Nevada Exploration Update. Two new areas return early encouragement. Gold bar drilling returns 1.77 grams per ton gold over 38.1 meters. Uh, they go on that they announced the recent drilling in Nevada has returned encouraging assay results from its LIMO and gold bar projects at LIMO. The two new mineralized areas have been discovered. One, a high grade silver gold vein, and two, a potential bulk tonnage target. Uh, the best results from these two areas returned uh, 852 grams per ton gold and 1.77 grams per ton, uh, oh, sorry, 852 grams per ton silver and 1.77 grams per ton gold over 6.4 meters and 1.48 grams per ton gold over 48 meters respectively. Uh, drilling at Gold Bar continued to focus on expanding the gold mineralization beyond the current resource and returned uh, 1.77 grams per ton gold over 38 meters. Uh, then they have some uh, details on their uh, LIMO project, uh, where it's located, uh, what the exploration was focused on, They've got a uh, drill, uh, drill table there with all the various different assay results. Then they have uh, do the same thing with their gold bar project, uh, where it's located, and then details about the exploration, including the uh, drilling results. And so you can find that on the uh, December 6th press release. Then they had another one out on December the 8th. And the headline from that one is uh, Three Gold Veins Discovered Near U.S. Gold's El Gallo Project. 7.7 .7 grams per ton gold over 4.8 meters, including 22.2 grams per ton gold over 1.1 meters. Uh, they go on that uh, U.S. Gold announced the discovery of three gold-bearing veins near the company's El Gallo Project in the Sonolo State, Mexico. Uh, the three veins which to date have been defined by a total of 17 core holes are all located within hauling distance of El Gallo. These new veins will not be included in the upcoming preliminary economic assessment. Uh, there's a quote from uh, Rob McEwen who's the chairman and CEO of U.S. Gold and he stated and I quote, the discovery of these veins illustrates the exploration potential of U.S. Gold's large land package around El Gallo. A uh, follow-up drilling has commenced with the objective of further extending the mineralization. Seven drills are currently operating at the project and we ex 
expect this pace to continue throughout 2011, end quote. Then in the press release, they have uh, details about the drill results. Um, they have some maps attached so you can get an idea of the overview of the project, uh, where they're drilling, and then some, uh, I believe they have some uh, cross sections there. Uh, again, it's all on their uh, press release attached to that um, uh, December 8th press release. So that's a wrap on the news regarding U.S. Gold. Some of the reasons that we follow the company just going to get onto another page here quickly. Um, we like their uh, their gold and silver discoveries. Um, they've got a really nice mix there between um, I, their main focus in uh, Nevada is gold. Uh, their key project in Mexico is El Gallo, that is silver um, and uh, high grade near surface discovery. But now they're also finding um, uh, gold. Uh, in that El Gallo project as well. They've got a very high profile management team. Mr. Rob McEwen is, has had a long uh, career of, uh, of uh, growing junior exploration companies into much larger companies. And so uh, uh, that's a really good uh, plus for the company. Um, they're focused in Nevada and Mexico, two mining friendly jurisdictions with well-known uh, geology. And going forward, I think they've got a very good high growth uh, potential. Um, they're making uh, important discoveries that have the potential of becoming producers in the future. And uh, they re really have a good pipeline of uh, uh, various different uh, projects at uh, different levels. So again, they've got a very good high growth uh, potential. Um, again, if you want to do some homework on the company, best place to start that is always on the, webs on the company's website usgold.com uh, and and uh, is where you can uh, start your research on uh, on the company. So now our third company today is Osisco Mining Corp. Um, on the disclosure we're not shareholders of the company. Our past coverage of them uh, includes they were they are a featured company in the Allen Berry Reports email newsletter. We started coverage of them on December 18th, 2008. That was our 21st edition. Again, if you want to, well, if you're watching this show on our website, just look above me. You'll find a report section. In the report section, you can find all of our past email newsletters, and uh, you will also be able to find that 21st edition. Uh, we've had them on a bunch of our past shows on April the 15th, July 22nd, August the 18th, September 22nd. October 14th and November 23rd and again if you look above me you'll see a shows section on the website and that's where <coughs> excuse me that's where you can find <clears throat> uh, links to all those past shows so you can watch them at your uh, convenience excuse me uh, their website is osisco.com that's O-S-I-S-K-O.com. I'm just pulling up their uh, press release. They, um, they had one out on December. The one that we're looking for, if you go to their website, and uh, on the front pa home page of their website, they have a uh, news section, uh, or sorry, um, uh, press archives. In the press archives, we're looking for the... December 6th uh, press release and that one um, just pulling it up here the headlines from that one is Osisco and Clifton Star intersects 42 meters averaging 3.38 grams per ton gold at Diparquet uh, they go on that uh, uh, Osisco and Clifton Star announced results from 21 additional holes from the 2010 drill program at, at the Diparquet project located in the Abitibi region of Quebec. Significant intersect, intersections from the new drill holes on the BD property include 41.6 grams per ton gold averaging uh, or sorry 41.6 meters averaging 3.38 grams per ton gold. Another hole had 33 meters averaging 2.93 grams per ton gold um, then they got a few more uh, in there and then they have a in the press release they have a table with all the various different drill hole 
uh, assay results, the intersections. You can see that um, it's fairly close to surface. They're getting some good intersections and they're getting some very good grades on the project as well. Uh, later in the pro later in the press release, they talk about drilling in 2010 has been focused on three properties: Beatty, Doncaster, Central De Parquet, and Duquesne. Uh, for an overall drilling campaign of 122,000 meters uh, that is now completed. Uh, the phase one drill program comprised 69,000 meters of drilling on the BD property with a total of 219 holes. All significant results from the BD drill program have now been disclosed. The phase two drilling program of 20,000 meters comprised 69 holes on the Duquesne property. All results all results are disclosed as well and the phase 3 program of 32,000 meters on the Doncaster property and Central de Parquet comprised a total of 96 holes results for the latter are pending and will be disclosed as they are made available um, then they go on to uh, talk about some other uh, information regarding the uh, exploration on that uh, project and uh, on the same date, December 6th, the partners also announced that they've budgeted $16.6 .6 million for exploration work in 2011 on the project. So they're going to be really busy on that, um, on that project. And um, uh, so we, we look forward to the pending results as well as that uh, aggressive drilling uh, this up in 2011. So uh, that's a wrap on the news regarding Osisco. Want to talk about some of the reasons that we like the company. We first started uh, following uh, Osisco because of their Malartic main zone uh, discovery, uh, very thick intersections of an open pit target that it was looking very uh, promising. Then they also made a, a, a discovery right next door to that. Uh, called their Barnat project and that had also very uh, encouraging drill results and so th those are always the key reasons that we start following any company is what the drill rig or uh, we often refer to it in the mining business as the truth machine what the truth machine tells us is always the first reason we follow any uh, company and with their drilling at the Malartic main zone and the Barnett, they were able to establish that they have a large multi-million ounce gold deposit. Uh, it's uh, it's in Quebec, uh, which is the most mining friendly jurisdiction in the world. Uh, they are they've advanced that project through the various different stages and have uh, are in the well into the construction stage where they're moving it towards uh, production. Uh, they have they have a really good pipeline of project uh, exploration potential. They've got joint venture projects, and so they've got uh, they're looking after their pipeline for the future as well. Um, going uh, looking forward a little bit, and uh, they're going to be coming a new gold producer in the second quarter of 2011. That's always a very exciting milestone. Not a lot of companies are able to go the route of uh, making a, a junior exploration company that makes a discovery and uh, then is able to bring that discovery into production and use that to help them grow into a larger company. Some of the current major mining companies were able to go that route and now uh, now Osisco has uh, been able to go that route uh, and so it's a very exciting time. We don't get to see this very often where you have uh, uh, most of the time the junior that makes the major discovery gets taken over by a larger company that uh, then puts it into production in this case Osisco's going the, the going for the home run uh, by becoming a uh, by, by becoming a producer uh, and what's really exciting not only are they looking at starting production in the second quarter of 2011 they'll be a low-cost producer uh, right out of the gates they're going to be producing a half million ounces of gold uh, uh, per year uh, that gives them a, a very powerful growth potential as a new producer with a solid pipeline for to look after their long-term uh, 
progress and uh, basically um, you know uh, this, we don't make this statement very lightly but they look like they have the potential to uh, move not only from the junior exploration company that makes a discovery then they move quickly into becoming a middle tier um, a gold company uh, with the potential to move into that major mining comp category in the future so uh, we really like the growth prospects of, uh, ha of um, Osisco uh, they've been a very successful pick for us and uh, it's quite exciting to see them this close to uh, becoming a, produ a gold producing company so uh, you want to do your homework on the company again check out their website that's osisco.com that's O-S-I-S ko.com and that's a great place to go and learn about all the company's various different projects and their efforts to uh, become a uh, significant gold producing company of the future um, so that's a wrap on our in the news uh, segment before closing we'd like to stress that this show and our reports are for information purposes only we aren't making buying or selling recommendations it's important for you to do your own research and speak with your financial advisors before making any investment decisions. We're always trying to grow our audience and any efforts you make to let your friends that follow the markets know about our, uh, our website, our reports, our shows uh, would be greatly appreciated. We also greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch these shows. We know that everybody is very busy these days and we strive to produce a show that saves you time and brings you helpful high quality information. Um, our next show, we're, not gonna, we're only going to have one show today. We went a little long today uh, because it's the week, uh, this weekend is uh, Christmas so we're kind of winding down the shows uh, for this week. We're only going to have this one in the news show. Uh, possibly we'll do another in the news show tomorrow but uh, unlikely we will do a week uh, in review show on friday so again if you the best way to keep track of all of our shows is to subscribe to our email uh, list you'll find this subscribe above me there uh, just fill out the information and uh, we send out notices whenever we do a show or have a public speaking engagement or, or send out our reports there's no charts to be on our email list just uh, fill the information out and we'll uh, send you notices when we're doing our shows and um, uh, so yeah that's that's about all the details uh, we hope you can join us for our future shows or go and watch our past shows you can find all of our uh, in our new section up there check out the shows section for all of our past shows uh, again we hope you can join us for future shows you can find all of our work on our website at allenberryreports.com uh, we'll see you soon and have a great day.